Hi. Today I'm gonna go to the beach and I'm gonna take Bandit with me and I'm gonna give you a little taste of what it's like to live in the middle of nowhere with no friends. My best friend's my dog. And it's gonna be a little road trip. I love road trips. Okay, here I go. something under this in case I get hot. Okay, layer one of the outfit. And layer two. I'm gonna put my hair up though, cause I hate it down. Bad Dorito man, I'm your man. I'm going to the beach, beach, let's go get away. I get Oh. He's not a human being. I hate this turn, 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 I hate this turn. Okay, we're good. I think I'm just like sad because the reason I'm doing this is this is my last summer here. Like I have to be out before summer. Oh, update. So, okay, so the last. Oh my god! <laughs> so the last time we spoke, um, I said like 12 months in like Chicago. Um, it's actually six months in Denver. So things have updated, progressed, plans have changed. So this is my last summer here and summer's over. It's like September. And this is like the last fall. This is like the last everything. Anyway, so this is like the last time that I'm gonna be able to take Bandit to the beach just like casually, you know, not like coming up for a visit. And I'm also trying to get good at doing stuff alone. So I'm trying to do two things at once here. Last trip with Bandit to the beach and trying to get good at doing things alone again. When I um, moved to Arizona when I was 19, like before that, I loved going out like every single day. If I didn't leave the house, I'd go crazy. I'd go somewhere, I'd do something. I didn't care if I was alone. I was alone all the time. I didn't have like friends to go anywhere and do anything with me. And then I moved to Arizona and I came back. I got like agoraphobia and I didn't want to leave the house. I was anxious about leaving the house. I was anxious about leaving, about being alone. I was anxious because I was gonna be anxious. I was like anxious about my anxiety. It's not having a like safe zone if I get anxious to like calm down in. It's kinda like, it's kinda like feels like the ocean, like a fear of the ocean, like you're out. If I go out into the ocean, I'm just gonna go out and drown. Like where am I gonna go? It's like that, but instead of drowning, it's anxiety. And which is also why I'm going to Denver because I have Melissa in Denver, so that's like you know a piece of my heart a piece of my home something comforting where i feel like i'm not going to be completely stranded it's so bizarre like anxiety is so weird because it's like what am i freaking out about like what's the worst that could happen if you have anxiety that is something that i suggest you know a lot of people are always like it's that's not going to happen that thing that horrible thing in your brain like that you're like thinking you know that that's not going to happen that's so unlikely Okay, that doesn't help because it could happen. I'm not, you know, it's like, that's not how it works, okay? But what always helps me is worst case scenario. Okay, what if it did happen, so what? Like I think about moving and it's scary because I'll be alone and then it's like, and then what? That's like what, a blip of my life and then I change locations. I don't like it, I move, I change again. I figure it out. Like bad things might happen, but then I fix them. It's just like, knowing that I'm like capable of making sure that I'm always gonna be okay in the end. Like I'm gonna be fine. Like I'm always gonna be okay. Most of the time my anxiety is like, mm, I think I just shit my pants and my pants are brown and everybody's looking at me. Oh my gosh, she just shit her pants and she's walking around the store with shit in her pants. 
And it's like, I know I didn't shit my pants, but my brain's telling me I shit my pants. And it's like, okay, bestie, go to the bathroom and check. Like, what are you doing? It's just like dumb shit like that. That makes me freak the fuck out. And most of the time it's like a social type thing. Like that's social. Like I'm just worried that everybody's looking at me and thinking like some horrible thought about me. And it's just kind of like, and? Okay, they are. What if they are? Because chances are, like, there's a possibility that they are thinking horrible things about you and they're judging you and they hate you. And then what? Like, it literally does nothing and it changes nothing. I guess my main goal is to blow up. My main goal is to get my shit together before I move. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of, like, um, healing your inner child and healing your trauma work. And it's, like, very exhausting and I'm kind of, like... I kind of like think I'm done with that for now. I think I've done enough. I think I've done like 99% of the work <laughs> as much as I can do without a therapist because I can't afford therapy. And now I'm working on trying to do stuff alone. I also want to like get my routine like back in, start journaling and stuff and doing the stuff that's like good for me, start eating right. I got to make money, bro. I got to work like a lot. I was working like 40 hours. Arizona is like the point in time when everything went downhill and I lost all progress I had ever made on my mental health. So I'm gonna reference it a lot. But before Arizona, I was working 40 hours a week, like sometimes more, working overtime. At the worst job, I was kind of like fine. I was kind of thriving. And now I have like the best job and I love it. And I work 30 hours a week and I'm burnt out. Like before I was getting 20 hours a week and that was like, oh my God, how am I gonna do this? It's just like, I can't believe I used to do 40 at a job. I hate it. But I'm also like a full-time student online now, so there's that. 10 miles. Anyways, I just wanna get my shit together before I move. Okay, I'm sweating. I gotta go, I gotta roll down my windows. Talk to you later, bye. I'm here. I hope there's not a lot of people here. It's a Monday, so so hopefully if I walk far enough I can find a spot where I can let him off leash. I think I'm gonna go to Subway. Okay. I'm gonna leave the Subway. Bye buddy. Bye buddy. Ready? <laughs> oh, bandit, come! 
<laughs> he can't run away with it. Good boy. <laughs> Who would have thought? Who would have thought you loved a big log? Well, I want to leave, but we found a new stick and he's very attached to it. Lily, come on. Good boy. Good boy. Finish your water, Mr. Me. Come on. What's up? Bin it. What's up? All done? Okay. Okay, all done. All done. Wanna get some ice cream? Okay, let's get some ice cream. Okay. Beach day's over. And I'm eating ice cream with Bandit. I didn't say we're eating ice cream, I said I'm eating ice cream. I had mustard on my face for a lot of that out there, and I didn't know because you can't see your screen when it's sunny out. And so I was sending pictures, I could like, you know, make out what they were to my um, friends and my parents, friends, to Melissa and my parents, parents, ew, oh my god, hello? I was sending pictures to Melissa and my parents, and um, Melissa goes, do you have mustard on your face? I did. I had mustard on my face. I have like a heart problem. I have heart problems. One of them's an arrhythmia. And it is acting up today. When I was walking, I like literally felt like I was having a heart attack. Oh, really dude, you're gonna park right next to me. You're not even handicapped, that's a handicapped spot. You're not handicapped, that's a handicapped spot. The guy in the ice cream place was really cute in like a boy next door kind of way. Like a not to be conceited but like i felt like here's the thing when i'm alone the thought of anybody being attracted to me is like insane but then i go out in public and i'm around people and there's no way that everybody isn't in love with me so i had convinced myself within the 30 seconds that i had been in there that he had fallen in love with me and i was making him nervous and he was gonna think about me for the rest of the week and so i felt very powerful when i was ordering my ice cream maybe i'm just delusional i'm okay with that but he was definitely at least 20 um and uh living in this town so not that i'm judging people for living in this town you know i'm here well i'm not here but like i'm in a town like this that's just gross oh. no. do we need to move i like this spot anyways i just feel like you need to surround yourself with people that it's got a lot dark, uh, like deeper all of a sudden i'm not saying this about this is actually like i assume this around this is like mm, how do I explain this? I do have a tendency to assume like the people out here don't have as big as goals as I do, which is like fine, like do whatever makes you happy, you know what I mean? If your goal is to, you know, just find someone you love and make a family and live in a house and die happy, like good for you. And I just feel like most of the people I tend to assume, it's not fair of me to say that they are, but in my experience, the people out here like that's the biggest that they dream which is sad because i feel like most of the time it's just because they've never seen anybody firsthand like have any sort of success like in their family and i say success when success is just happiness but i mean like have any sort of like bigger achievements um in their family because you know generational poverty all that stuff i just wish that i was able to find more people who genuinely believe that you can do anything and anything po is anything's possible like not to be corny but it is so like why would you want anything less right i also feel like people don't try to achieve big goals because they have to let go of a lot of their vices or you know step out of their comfort zone and a lot of people don't even want to admit that you know they're doing things that hold them back because it's comfortable even if it makes them slightly miserable, it's comfortable. Like, I know everybody does it. So, like, I know, like, there are things that are, that were probably, like, self-destructive that I did, but I knew the outcome every time. You know, I always knew it was going to happen. I always knew how my life was going to be if I kept living that way. So there was no, like, fear of things not working out the way that I planned. However... I'm sick of that. I'm over it. I'm going to leave my comfort zone and I'm going to be absolutely terrified the whole time. 
Um, I'm not gonna do it and say like, I have nothing to fear, I'm not afraid, like I'm scared shitless, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Because I definitely don't wanna be here anymore and I don't wanna live small. Just see what the world has to offer me. I just wanna have fun. It's like a video diary. It is a video diary. Except I'm putting it out into the world in hopes that people see it and think, oh my god, what a comforting, entertaining vibe. I enjoy that. That's my main goal, is to comfort and entertain. Okay, I gotta use my maps. Bye.